Jessica Mulroney is reportedly considering writing a tell-all book about her friendship with Meghan Markle. According to the most recent round of rumors about Meghan and Jessica, the longtime friends may never reconcile following the fallout from Mulroney's recent scandal. Jessica is a ride or die with Meghan. They have been, they are very famously friends, and I'm shocked that anything could come between them. And I'm shocked that Meghan has not really uh, defended Jessica. Sources close to the women reportedly told the Daily Mail that Mulroney is calling Meghan nonstop to repair the friendship, but Meghan isn't having it. She's calling nonstop. She's getting other friends to call on her behalf. She's using every avenue available. Meghan may have blocked all access to her. Now, as a temporary move, I can see this, but as a permanent move, it's just, I think that indicates uh, a lack of, just, it's like a boundaries issue. It's like, uh, it's, it's a mental illness issue. It's not being healthy, too extreme. The report suggests that Mulroney is considering writing a tell-all book about Megan because she feels she has nothing to lose. Okay, Diana did the famous interview with Martin Bashir. Uh, uh, everybody writes a tell-all book. I, you know, to, to revenge themselves and to keep the money flowing. I absolutely believe that Megan eventually will write a tell-all book. All she does is criticize the royal family. Harry is on the chopping block. He's not an ally. They're not on the same side. Megan is only on Megan's side. And remember, this all happened because Jessica Mulroney got into this row with this woman, Sasha Exeter. And Sasha Exeter was on Twitter and on social media uh, sort of trying to get influencers to get behind the BLM and the defund the police movement. Uh, Jessica Mulroney was offended by this lady kind of demanding that she use, you know, that Jessica use her platform. And they got into this big argument and Jessica ended up having her entire life canceled. She was cut from I Do Redo. She was cut from Good Morning America as a contributor. I mean, she was building her brand and all this for all this time. And in one fell swoop, this lady, Sasha Exeter, canceled her whole life. And it affects everything. There's a lot of issues here. You know, will Megan completely cut off Jessica? Is Jessica really planning to, tell, to do a tell-all book? And I want to see some real anger, some real vengeance, if that's the case. Uh, and does Jessica have, like, the dirt? She does, she knows everything, but does she have, like, audio and video recording of conversations? She knows all about Megan's fake bump. Does she have photos of the silicone doll, Darren? She was at the New York baby shower. Megan went in the front door of that hotel with an enormous 13-month bump strapped to her, and she went out the back door with no evidence, no bump uh, of any kind an hour later. She knows everything. Does she have video and audio evidence of this? Wow. Jessica can, can do to Megan what has been done to her. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Jessica Mulroney, is she planning to write a tell-all on Meghan Markle. How sour has it gotten? I mean, how how vicious is Meghan in cutting out Jessica? I mean, man, you just can't you can't make you you can't make a single mistake around Meghan. She'll cut you out. She cut out her whole family, both sides of it, the Markles and the Raglins. She only sees her mother only allows her mother into her life because that suits Megan's purposes. Uh, and here again is another person. You know, Jessica has been there all along. She was uh, next to Marcus Anderson. She is the closest person. Uh, and anyone in Megan's life, including Harry, who sees how she is treating everyone else in her life, your time is coming, Harry. 
she's going to treat you the same way or worse. She's absolutely ruthless. Okay. And, and this is like a dating strategy. You know, if you see someone treating uh, servers and, you know, people really badly, they're always going to treat you that way. That's a huge red flag. Well, these Jessica Mulroney's not a server. She was her best, her best, best, bestie, best friend. And, you know, is, is Jessica planning to write a tell-all? Let's take a look. Hmm. What I'm seeing here in the center is opportunity. There is an opportunity to make money, to run a play doing this and really change things. Okay, 11 and 4, 15, four clubs. The opportunity is presenting itself now. So I see publishers, uh, people in the literary world, people who do this kind of thing, they ha are approaching her, are approaching Jessica, and Jessica is looking at this because she wants she wants to create a radical change okay megan is cutting her off she she's been her whole life has been canceled in the public sphere and she needs to change this that's how she feels she feels that she needs to change this and if this is if writing a tell all and you know putting it out there on megan uh, changes that for her and puts her back in the sphere. You know, she was, there's different personalities in the public sphere. There are amorosas, okay, in the plug, public sphere. Uh, you know, hand-picked bad guys who are always saying crazy, crazy things, but they get a lot of ratings and they make a career out of it. Well, Jessica wasn't an amorosa. She wasn't a bad guy, a bad girl. But maybe that's her way back in, and that's what she's looking at. Uh, she's conflicted, and it, this is, can also be hard work, scourge, hard work. She is definitely thinking about it. She's at a crossroads. You know, am I going to be restored and get back all the stuff that I lost, because that's really valuable to her, of course, or does she need to take this step? So step by step, bad relationship, ongoing bad relationship, very emotional talking. I see her writing it down. I see her, you know, putting pen to paper and kind of seeing what she's got. 21, 24, six spades. She's very bitter and angry about what happened. She's very angry at Megan, but she's not decided yet. And the decision is, the reason for this decision is, does it restore her? You know, does, does dragging Megan through the mud restore to Jessica what she had? So let's put Jessica and Megan here. How bad is it? I mean, is this a permanent cut or is this a temporary cut? Because... People, they, they run hot and cold, and it might be appropriate for Megan to separate herself publicly for a short time. I don't think people will fault her for that. I don't think even Jessica will fault her for that. As long as behind the scenes, she's still in touch with Jessica. She's trying to help her any way she can. She's very subtly trying to bring Jessica back because she's being a true friend. That would be the behavior that could work, okay? And, and even Jessica would not be upset at her uh, because she understands about public image. And Megan. Jessica. Got the no. Oh dear.
What I want to look at here is how bad is the cut? Well, look at Megan. The, the most solid cards are seven clubs and ten diamonds. Ten diamonds is very, very solid. The, the most solid foundation has been broken, and there's a full stop. Eleven and ten, twenty, one, six hearts. So the long-term, very solid karmic relationship, this really solid, really long relationship is cut and completely stopped. So Megan has completely cut off and blocked, cut off and blocked Jessica. What's up with Jessica? Star of Bethlehem, healing and going forward in the world and her high tower, her businesses. Let's see, 17 plus 7, 24, 6 spades. So she is really... For Jessica, it's all about getting her public, her social media, her public uh, forum, her influence back. It's all about getting her influence back, and that's what's going on here. With Megan, she has just completely cut off Jessica, which is very, very bad. You can go, you can be behind the scenes supporting and helping your friend, okay? And when the time is right, you come out and be more public about it but Megan's not doing that she's completely cut off Jessica and that's very dangerous for Megan because Jessica knows everything a blockage of the of the you know four hearts is people close to her in her life and the she's nine three hearts to keep the to keep the beautiful image. She will do, she's ruthless. She just cut off Jessica. She just, uh, to keep the image. It's all about image. So if Megan is a narcissist, a narcissist is always wearing a mask. And the most, the mask is the reality. They are making the mask the reality. Is Jessica trying desperately to reconnect is she <clears throat> is she uh you know texting using all the social media calling getting friends to call because that's a favorite trick <clears throat> is getting others to call on your behalf so is she doing everything she can to reconnect with megan or is she just kind of giving up at this point? Devil. Is she doing everything she can to reconnect or give up? So nine diamonds, this is electronic communication and everything. She's using everything and electronic communication. 17, five hearts, she's reacting, and very publicly, she's very publicly uh, trying to reconnect. Uh, and Butterfly is also very light, making light overtures, you know, let's patch it up. But underneath is the devil, five hearts, and two diamonds. She's really angry now, Eight, 18, five diamonds. She's, it's the... <clears throat> because the cut has gone on the doc the the cut has gone on so long she's really getting very very angry she's hiding that anger it's underneath the the anger is is festering underneath okay and Jessica is reaching out to Megan you know very light very friendly but Megan is completely blocking her and this is really really making Jessica very very angry and she's wanting revenge. Okay, so she's ma Megan is making this tell-all more and more probable uh, the longer she, the more she mistreats Jessica. <clears throat> and the million-dollar question: Does Jessica have audio and video recordings? Okay, because she was everywhere. She was at the New York City. She probably helped plan the New York City thing. She probably helps Megan strap on the prosthetic bump. 
She knows everything. They eat together. She knows what Megan's eating. She knows if she's having cravings. She sees, you know, they get dressed in the same dressing room. You know what women are like. They go to the bathroom together. My goodness. I mean, she has seen everything. So is she, was she like Megan realizing that it, things could go bad and she might need some leverage because Megan was audio recording, videotaping, uh, making a journal from the beginning in the palace like she's going to leave. So people think, well, she must be planning to leave. I would agree. Doing those things does not have no consequences. She must have been planning to leave. So was Jessica doing that? You know, audio and videotaping, because she's seeing Megan do it. And so Megan might have even done it to Jessica. So it's just very, the most natural thing to do. If somebody throws a right cross at you, you should expect a right cross right back immediately. Okay, if somebody throws a front kick at you, expect to get a front kick right back. Uh, and that's, you know, it's just natural. So, does Jessica have audio and video recordings? Ooh. Oh, dear. And I see, you know, Jessica is somebody who knows as much as Samantha. And Jessica is much, is much better connected than Samantha. Samantha is only connected as Megan's sister. Jessica is a power player of herself. Her husband is an ITV producer. Okay, so he has a national media outlet. Okay, and all of the connections that go along with that. There, she's also politically connected and she's wealthy. She has a lot of connections. Samantha has none of these connections. Samantha just rides around in her meal, wheelchair and makes angry tweets. Okay, so she doesn't have any of these connections. Whereas Mulroney, she's much better connected. She is a social influencer. She has a lot of power. And even if Megan is not helping her out, that would kind of make other people nervous. But I think that Jessica would still have people uh, who want to help her. So Jessica knows everything Samantha knows. She knows about the Yacht Girl days. She would know about any kind of, you know, crazy sexual indiscretions. She would know about Megan's other marriages. Uh, you know, we know about two of them, Trevor Engelson and uh, and Harry, but what about the lawyer guy that was annulled? She would know about any hidden, the hidden child in Arizona. She would know all about Archie, which is the big news. And just Archie all alone can sink Megan. So all she has to do is come up with some real hard evidence, audio tapes or videotapes, and we're off to the races big time. Okay, and then anything else that she would say, I saw this, I saw that, and it's just her word, would have lots of credence because of the audio tape or the video that she produced about something else. Okay, and that's the game that's being played right here. So, wow, Jessica could do a tremendous amount of damage to Megan, and she knows everything. So, does she have audio and video tape? Ten spades. The worst possible result worst possible outcome three hearts sweet messages that give the worst possible outcome four diamonds yeah she's got the really foundational stuff why is this three hearts in the middle that's just an interesting card to have in the middle so she has documentation she has the worst possible documented evidence and i'm asking about audio and video three hearts can be visual is very visual the roses are very beautiful so she has visual evidence she has videotape evidence that is really really damning to megan she has video evidence like you know darren the doll laying on the counter you know 
undressed or whatever or in dress but it's obviously a doll and she can film it and maybe squeeze the leg and then the animatronic doll says something harry why are you still in this relationship you know like that so she might have something like that megan's in the other room megan's sleeping megan went out without her bump and you know so she's there alone with the uh animatronic doll and she could have got something. It's underneath. Straight razor. Uh, the permanent relationship has been cut. And that's the very, very solid relationship. So earlier, we saw that this is the most solid kind of relationship. They're lifetime friends. And seven clubs is the lifetime connection card. This is the marriage card. So the key, the fact that this permanent, like a marriage, okay, has been cut is really, really upsetting to Jessica and cast out of the karmic relationship. She's very, very like a normal person. Okay. Jessica is very upset about the loss of the relationship. That's the most painful thing. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's not about, it's about the relationship. And Jessica is so upset about the loss of the relationship and that's and we have bookends here we have straight razor and scapegoat in in the center okay we have karmic relationship yes and uh cross the center of this underneath says that this was a really foundational key relationship for jessica megan was like a best friend and she's been cut and cast out of this relationship and that is what is so upsetting to her, okay? And that would be the motive for her to go ahead and really, her purpose uh, in hitting back at Megan with a tell-all would be to restore the relationship, you know, maybe by force. People do that. You know, Megan is using a lot of force against Jessica and really, really hurting her by not talking to her. And Jessica has every right to be upset about that. And she is. There's, you know, not talking to people uh, and just freezing them out is very, very upsetting. As all, you know, a lot of people know. And when it's done back to you, the people who freeze people out, they hate it the most when you do it to them. They can't stand it. So let's review here. Uh, I think... I think Jessica's right on the edge of making this leap, and I think she is actually writing this book. And if if this doesn't clear up soon, like a bad rash, I think we're going to see a tell-all from Jessica. So what do we have here? Is she going to write it? This is a great opportunity, and it's, and it's going to make her money, and it's going to put her back in the public sphere. She is working on it. She hasn't decided to publish it. But she's very upset about the relation, the bad relationship and the fact that it's still going on and Megan is not talking to her yet. That's what's upsetting her, that she's still being frozen out. So the longer she's being frozen out, the more likely she is to publish this tell-all book because you shouldn't treat her that way. That's how Jessica feels. Don't treat me like that. You don't have a right. Is how bad is it between Jessica and Megan? Is Jessica completely cut out? Megan has completely cut Jessica out. Completely. There's no contact between them. Jessica is really focusing on getting her social presence back. Getting back into the public sphere and being an influencer again. She's really, that is what's showing on Jessica's side. So she's not obsessing about the relationship, but the relationship is completely cut and it's really hurt her. It's hurting her on an ongoing basis. Is Jessica doing everything she can to reconnect? She's very lightly trying to connect with her through social media. And the fact that Megan is not taking any bait, she's really, 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 really upset about it. You cannot be more upset than the devil. Okay, it's really bad. Okay, Jessica is getting really, 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 really angry about how she's being treated by Megan. And that's not a good thing. Okay, does Jessica have actual audio and videotaped evidence? Because in the world today, that's what we want to see. 
Yes, she's got it. She's really got the dirt. And it's going to be exposed. If it gets exposed, and she's right on the cusp of that, she hasn't decided to come out with it. She's still thinking about it and writing it down and putting together what she has. But it's because of the loss of this very important relationship to her. So I think, I think the, probably the greatest danger to Megan's reputation right now is Jessica Mulroney. I don't think anybody can do more damage to Megan than Jessica uh, writing a tell-all book and showing some, and it's as easy as posting it on YouTube, showing some choice video clips uh, coming out with some really juicy audio evidence. Uh, there's so many ways to get it out. Just put it on Instagram. So Jessica, you know, Megan needs to patch it up with Jessica because Jessica is very, very dangerous to her. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe.